At precisely the wrong moment, time betrayed humanity. In the mid-1600s, bells rang late, ships missed tides, prayers drifted off schedule, and no one could agree on the hour. Time was guessed by shadows, sand and burning candles, each slipping, drifting, lying. And then in a quiet room in the Netherlands, someone dared to ask a dangerous question. What if time could swing and never lie again? The year was 1656. Winter light pressed softly against frosted windows as Christian Huygens stared at a simple weight hanging from a string. It looked harmless, almost childish. But in its steady back and forth motion, Huygens sensed something unsettling, something precise. Tick, tock, the motion never hurried, never hesitated. Each swing took the same amount of time, as if the universe itself were breathing at a constant rhythm. Others had seen pendulums before, but Galileo had noticed their strange regularity decades earlier, watching lamps sway in a cathedral, but no one had dared to chain time itself to that motion until now. Huygens worked obsessively. Gears clicked through the night, oil lamps burned low, wood and brass were shaped, adjusted, rejected, rebuilt. Outside, church bells still rang unevenly. Inside, a machine was learning to listen to gravity. Tick. Tock. Here was the revelation. Gravity didn't just pull things down. It kept a promise. A pendulum of fixed length would always take the same time to swing, no matter who watched, no matter where it was built. Time, for the first time, could be measured instead of guessed, but precision is never gentle. As the clock took shape, it exposed a terrifying truth. Nearly every clock humanity relied on was wrong. By minutes, by hours, entire cities lived slightly out of sync with reality. Um, the pendulum clock didn't just tell time, it judged it. When the first pendulum clock finally ran, its accuracy was staggering. It lost seconds per day instead of minutes. For sailors, this meant safer navigation. For astronomers, sharper measurements of the heavens. For society, a new discipline. Time stopped drifting. And in that moment, something profound shifted. Time was no longer a loose companion. It became a master. Work days tightened. Appointments mattered. The modern world quietly began ticking into existence. Tick tock. We still live inside that rhythm today. In watches, phones, satellites all descendants of that swinging weight in a Dutch workshop. Every second you feel passing began with a pendulum daring to be trusted. If this story made you feel time a little differently, take a moment to like, share and subscribe. Um, leave a comment with what moment in history you'd like us to explore next and help this channel keep time with curiosity.